Today we are talking about the Google Rebus GR magazine pouch. Are you ready? Stand by. Welcome back to the Humble Marksman channel. I'm David and I'll be your guide in pursuit of practical pistol proficiency. On deck today, we're talking about the Guga Rebus GR magazine pouch, which is one of the nicest magazine pouches I've ever tried. They are truly universal and can accommodate pretty much anything from single stack magazines on up to full size 2011 magazines. There are spacers that can go on either side and the rear so you can put pretty much any sort of magazine on there. They're super adjustable. They have a ball joint that they're mounted with so you can make the angle be exactly what you want it to be. And they are just really, really well thought out and well designed. And if you're not familiar with my channel, I like to cry about things. Since I like these magazine pouches so much, I know that they're not going to be offended when I say not nice things about them. So I'll start with the, some of the things that I don't like about the magazine pouches. The weight, these suckers are super duper heavy. You can take the ones off when you don't need them. So if you're shooting a high cap division and you don't need four magazine pouches on your belt, you can just take the extra ones off and leave them in your bag with your extra magazines and just use the ones that you need while you're shooting. Which brings us to things that I really do like about the magazine pouches. And first and foremost, the fact that these are so easily removable from the belt actually is an asset when you go to mount these things. Now guys, if you've never built a competition belt before, you need to give yourself a solid hour. If you think you're just gonna sneak it in in 15 minutes when your wife's not looking, it's not gonna happen. You need about an hour to get it set up properly, so make sure you give yourself adequate time. At the end of the video, we'll talk about how to adjust and install these on the belt, but for now, let's just talk about the features of the pouch. So the pouches, as I mentioned, are truly universal. I've used them with all of the pistol magazines that I currently have just to see if they fit, and they absolutely do. They're fully ambidextrous where you can swap around if you're a lefty and like telling people you're left-handed. Uh, you can make these work for you. These also work in a bullets out configuration if you're a production shooter. So these are really great and there's a magnet that you can get that comes out on the front of these which works really great for you limited and open shooters. The belt attachments on the mag carrier is a big slab of plastic but they actually give you some like industrial strength Velcro that with adhesive on it that sticks in right there so you don't tear up the bind between your inner belt and your outer belt, which is pretty cool. The magazine pouches themselves, you can adjust the retention on them right here with these two thumb screws. I would recommend tightening up the one at the bottom of the mag pouch more and keeping this one at the top just a little bit looser so that it releases super fast. Because the front of the mag pouch is wide open, when you go to grab your magazine off the belt, you can put your finger all the way at the tip, which is great for getting your speed reloads done. And finally, the Guga Rebus logo is awesome. It has this little penguin on it, which I think is one of the coolest logos that we have in USPSA. So Guga Rebus sent these magazine pouches to me for review. They're these black ones that you see right here. I competed in uh, three major matches with them this year and several club matches to great effect. So much so that I like them and bought these white ones that you see here with my own money. And while we're talking about it, the Guga Rebus belt is actually one of the better belts that I've tried in practical shooting. And it costs the same as all of the other stuff. Like all of the Guga Rebus stuff, if he puts his name on it, there's just incredible thought and attention to detail that goes into the product. So I can say that I like these mag pouches despite being heavier than some of the other ones, more than any of the other ones I've tried. And I've tried most of them at this point. I'd love to tell you more about these magazine pouches, but first we have to talk about the sacred relationship between the content creator and you, the subscriber. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. So as you've been watching this video, you're probably thinking, wow, that Guga Rebus belt is truly remarkable. I'd love to have one of those belts, but I really needed to have the Humble Marksman logo on the belt keeper. So you reach out to Guga Rebus and you insist, you demand that he makes competition belts that feature my logo so that all of the competitive shooting world can know of the world-class firearms content here on the channel. But with that all said, back to the show. So now we're going to talk about the way to mount these on the belt and get them adjusted. 
When you know what you're doing, it takes just under about seven minutes per pouch to get them mounted. So I'm gonna walk you through that now. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is loosen the thumb wheel and remove the mag pouch from the bracket that attaches to the belt. Next, you'll loosen the four screws on the belt and get the bracket slipped on roughly in the spot that you want it to be and then you cinch it down on the belt. Next is talking about getting the ball joint adjusted. So the first thing you're gonna do is reduce the tension on these two screws right here almost to the point that they disengage. Just a few threads of engagement so that the pouch is held together. You're gonna to use the Allen key with the short arm, extra short, to loosen these two screws on the inside of the pouch here. You're gonna put the mag pouch back on your belt and you're gonna turn it around until you get the angle that you think you want your magazine pouch out. You're gonna lift it off the belt and cinch them down and you're gonna have the angle set. So if you're shooting production division or carry optics and not using super wide body magazines, you're gonna to need to use a spacer. The spacer fits inside the outer face of the holster. So you'll push the nut into the little nut shape hole, line up the hole, and put the little screw in at both the top and the bottom and cinch it down. Mount the whole thing on the belt, tighten down the thumb wheel, and then use the grub screws to set the retention. Rinse and repeat. Now, since I've done this eight times now, I know how to install these. And knowing how to install them, it still took me about seven minutes per pouch to get them mounted onto the belt. So with four of the pouches, that's a half hour of just mounting pouches on the belt. So there you go. If you wanna play with like bullets out or any of that craziness, it's gonna take even more time. So be sure to give yourself enough time to do that. Like the video if you made it this far. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, check out the links in the description. I've got a link to my Patreon where $1 gets you three to five exclusive pieces of content per week on my page. And there is a link to join Big Daddy Unlimited, which is a buyer's club uh, for second amendment related stuff, usually at the best prices going. So. It's only 99 cents your first month. It's worth checking out. Uh, there's a lot of good deals going on there. I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.